Morning everyone. Welcome back. Bear boy. Bear. Hi son. Hi bear. Hi bear. Bear. Hello. Hi. I love you. I love you. Coco. Yeah. You go just get wool. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, why are we all one more double channel for that angle? Really trying my hardest not to show my double channel as much, but. Struggle. Um. It's currently Sunday, very early, because this wee shite, so let me fill you in. So I asked my mum and dad's maybe like, oh, that's not, I don't actually know how many times I've but like sometimes like I'll, when they, obviously because I'll lazy away most of the time now, Um, so like maybe like a Sunday, like I'll go get my dinner, um, just stay or do it on a Saturday or like a Friday very rarely I don't really do it during the week because like I like to be in my house in the morning for work and get up get my coffee just start my day so it's mostly the weekends but basically my dad's my dad just works uh, my dad has worked every single day like my dad doesn't have a day off I know that maybe loads of people have that but like my poor wee dad, man. See, if I won the lottery, I would give it to my dad. Honestly, my dad deserves it so much. It's just such a wee... My God. Oh, I'm getting movement in my forehead, guys. Botox is needing topped up. <laughs> um, Yeah, basically, my dad gets up at like half four every morning for work. Um... So, when I stay with my mum and dad, obviously I have the children. And my dad has got into a routine with Coco. Because Bear would not fucking, Bear would just not entertain you if you woke him up at that time in the morning. But basically my dad has got into this routine where, because Coco took a bit longer to train with the peeing and the pooing, she would quite have quite a few accidents when she really shouldn't be of. So my dad's got a thing in his head where he's like, oh, get if we're up, get her out. She's a pee. Right. Which is great. But Coco pees on demand. You put, put, you put Coco on the grass, she thinks, well, you're waiting for me to pee, aren't you? And she'll drop her arse and she'll pee. But this has became a thing where, like, when me and Lee were in London, mum and dad had them for four days. Or if I go on holiday, they have them. Or if I'm away for work, they have them. So it's quite, you know, regular. Which is come a thing where Coco now thinks okay quarter to five in the morning let's go fucking pee so every morning for the last three weeks Coco has been waking me up between half four and half five 
Ch she chops and changes when she says she needs a pee, right? And so I have this thing. I'm very much more comfortable in my own house. However, when I go up the stairs, there is no going back down until the morning. I could be dying of hydration, like I need a drink, or shit my pants. That front, that bedroom door will not be open. I have an envision I'm going to open my bedroom door, my hallways in darkness, and there's going to be a man standing there. I keep envisioning it, so it's just my rule. And I set my alarm, so if it goes off, something's behind that front door, right? So, anyway, point of the story. Coco, in fact, I'm going to demonstrate. Excuse that big little wire. Right, so here is when I'm sleeping. Here's the door. So when that door is shut, Coco runs from about here, hits the door. Runs, hits the door. Runs, hits the door. You will not hear a more annoying sound than that door getting hot when it's shut by this type of door. <sighs> the problem is though, we're now hitting winter. It's dark at half four, half five. Which then means I'm going down the stair when I fucking don't want to. Having to unset the alarm. Right? And open my back door to fucking darkness. The other night, the other morning, I FaceTime my dad. Because I thought, it's your fault. You're coming with me. FaceTime my dad and I was dad. But to be fair, I nearly shed a tear. It was a bit dramatic. But I was like, this has to stop. He was like, oh, Ken, it's just I don't want a pee in the carpet. I'm like, she wouldn't have peed the carpet. That's the middle of the night. She was still be sleeping. So I was talking to my mum, right? So I was telling my mum, I'm really tired, blah, blah. Telling her why. And uh, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, why is it happening? Obviously, my dad, she must be like, all of a sudden, she's needing a pee. And mum was like, oh, no, no, actually. So your dad was waking her up and putting her outside. I said, sorry. She went... I like a dad would like shake her and then put her outside. So my dad, the dog's not even needed to pee. My dad just woke her up at half four in the morning, flung her outside, put her arse on the grass. She's dropped her arse on the grass. He's picked her back up and put her back in bed. I didn't know Coco knows she's doing it because she's my dad's physically waiting her. And I go, why is he not doing it to Bear? Tried it to Bear, did it work? Bear will go a dead weight, see if Bear doesn't want to get up. Don't fucking touch me. So yeah, guys, that's where we're at. I'm sorry I've had a proper rant this morning, but... It's probably the only thing I can say bad about my father. Not bad, but you know what I mean? Apart from that, he's a real life angel. But yeah, basically, guys, I'm now watching this someone new. She's not new, she's like... Probably the biggest issue in the world. Um, Emma, Cham Emma Chamberlain. Um, just, to just to tell you how famous she is. I typed in the letter E on YouTube and it came up her full name. First E. Came up her. Um, different from my usual type of people I watch. But she's very, I just text Jelly. She's very Jelly Isabella. Very like... Model vibes, very like I'm getting the vibe she drinks um like an Americano and jelly psychopath that she has drinks an Americano. Um eats a lot of salads. Jelly eats a lot of sort of stuff. Doesn't eat tuna salads the way jelly eats a tuna salad, but she eats a salad. Um also she went to Met Gala at the age of twenty, so just fucking let that sink in. Um I'm not sure what's going on here with this week flicking my hair. Oops. Um also guys my hair recently, wow, the condition of it's got so good, so thick. Like the other day, probably the first time I've ever went, oh my god. <sighs> like my hair feels the way it used to feel when I'd taped in. So that's good. Um but yeah, really early, it's a Sunday. I've not got anything really exciting planned. Today, can I just house shit? So, 
I would put like a wee quick clip in of it. Um, I'm thinking about maybe making blueberry muffins today. The low fat ones. But yeah, just thought it's going to be a vlog. What have I got? I think I've got an exciting week this week. Do I? Am I talking bullshit? In fact, I changed my mind on this video. It's going to be spend Sunday with me. Because next week I've got a busy week. But I want this to go up on Wednesday. So that means I can't film the whole week. So I changed my mind, okay? So this is going to be spend the Sunday with me. Then I'm going to film the vlog as of tomorrow. Because to as of tomorrow is more like my busy day. My busy week even. I've got a few events I'm going to go to. Come with us. Oops. Sorry, Coco. She doesn't like any sudden noises. Um, so yeah, change of change of plans. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's too personal to share, but um, I've got two infected nipples. Um, basically, when I had my uplift, obviously your nipples come on and off. Because they have to reposition your nipples. Um, and I caught an infection in one. And it's it's healed, but it's not fully healed. Like I'm not, it's it's not that I'm not happy with surgery because it's not about that. I caught, I just caught an infection because I was run down, um. And basically, what happened at the time was my bandage came loose a wee bit, and I washed my hair, and the shampoo got behind the bandage, but I didn't notice, and then I put a new bandage on the top of the old one, and it just like congealed the shampoo on my raw skin, causing infection. However, it is quite normal for your boobs to get quite itchy at six months. I'm, I think I'm six or seven. Um, because it's like the nerves are all like rejoining and like the blood flow and all that. So it causes your boobs to be quite itchy. However, also you're not many itch. So I have been trying really fucking hard, guys, not to itch them, right? However... In the middle of the night, the other night, I must have fucking really scratched them with my nails on and shopping picked in. And um, woke up in the morning, my boobs had stuck to my bra. I'd took the skin off my nipples. Both of them. Um, so, I mean, I don't mind showing you because my nipples are covered. Hold on. I'm wearing my post-op bra that I really like it. it's just because it's super comfy, okay. However, this is my current state. This is the current state of affairs on both boobs. Not what I want. Um, I don't feel sexy in the slightest. So, it's very itchy. So I'm currently got like antibiotic cream padding on them obviously this is to stop them from sticking to the bra and then tomorrow I'm going to go back I'm going back to the surgery just to get them checked and maybe get some antibiotics because I'm starting to feel a little bit unwell which it's quite common when you get an infection anywhere it's like you kind of start to feel a bit sick so but I think I most definitely need antibiotics um so yeah just so I'll be brutally honest Morning again. Can you still see? Can you see me? Um, so we're making pancakes this shit. We're making pancakes this morning. Some protein ones. So let's just I like mini pancakes rather than like big massive Pancakes, if that makes any sense. The guys, the pancakes I'm making are the protein pancake. It looks so good so far. This is the situation, really need a new pan. Um, I got this to try, the skinny food golden syrup. Um, I just literally put like a little bit of butter in the pan. Um, allow me using my large ice blast cup for um, 
mixing but top tip guys especially the protein stuff um you're better mixing in a quite like a tight space because you can like beat and get against and kind of uh, flatten out the protein powder so top tip and um, right i'm going to just leave them and i and i'm going to have what banana looks more ready? This one. Hi Coco, I see you. So I'm having Uno banana. I love banana. Weird, right? I like banana, right? I love banana loaf. Hate banana in a drink. So like milkshakes. I can have it in a smoothie. But I don't like it when like like banana milky. Whoa, that would give me the boat. Wow, stunning. Right, I'll we'll see if these are ready for. Oh my god, guys, these are like now you Matilda when she makes pancakes. They're literally that perfect. Right, my strawberries got out of date today, so what I'm actually going to do is just cut them on the plate, then wash them. I know people said, why didn't you wash your veg? And I'm uh, cooking my, what I eat. I didn't realize you had to wash veg. I thought it came like, if it's like, I know obviously you have to wash some stuff, but like, I thought like salad, like pre-made salad boxes would have been washed. You just can eat them on the go. Do you know what I mean? Like that's the whole point of them. The whole point of them is like to eat them on the go. So I assumed that that was washed. But, unsure. I think it's just up to you. Fuck it, man. Honestly, fuck it. Like, I don't think you need to wash it, man. So not all my strawberries are edible. Well, they are, but some of them just feel a bit mush. But anyone else notice, like, you really cannot get long dates on strawberries. Like, I feel like you kind of have to eat them the day or the day after you buy them. Um, or they kind of just go fucking weird, don't they? Right, that's plenty. I'm going to go wash them. So I'm gonna go and get washed. Um, it's quite a miserable day. But I've got some stuff I need to do today, so I'm gonna just um, go get washed, go get myself presentable, and I need to go get. I've got my mum and dad's for dinner tonight. We're going to have a healthy Sunday roast, so not like a Yorkshire pudding and all that, but. Just like, I think either chicken, roast chicken or roast beef and veggies, basically. Um, so yeah, that's what we're having. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get ready and then um, we'll come back home and it looks a little bit pretty. Say Nana! Nana! Okay, 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 okay. Right, everybody wait, everybody wait. Nana, go your biscuits. Here's your biscuits. You not like those biscuits? No. Nah, honestly, this is what we're like with dogs. Can you imagine wings? Coco, biscuits. <gasps> what Nana go it? What we go it? Get her to sit. Oh. Coco sit nice. Coco sit. Coco sit. Coco, Coco sit. sit. Sit nice. Go go sit. Bear's sitting like mum. I know he's the best boy. Best boy. He's the best boy in the house. Is that what we brought in a twig? I'll show you. Here. Too big for them. No. Sit. Good 
Good ghetto, well done. Right, Mia, Mia sit. Oh, yeah, Mia. Yes, ghetto. Look at bear. Mummy's moving his wee ass. My bad boy, my bad boy. She's not an only boy. Right, don't you start. Jealous Coco boy. sit. Coco sit. Coco sit. Sit down. The dog doesn't yeah. sit in the water with a biscuit. Um, What's up there? Right, let's wait for Andrew to come in. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Look what happens. The glass came out of the oven. But a full glass, but I'm actually glad it came off. It means I can clean it. How about two glass? You have an inner glass. Oh, do you? You know how that's how when it runs down, you can't get in to clean it. Oh. I'm not going to tell your dad, I actually need to done it one time. He was getting my nails this one, the oven door. Oh, so you broke the oven? I don't think I broke it because it goes back in. I'm going to tell my dad. I'm going to tell my dad. I'm going to tell my dad. Get me in. So guys, with my mum's, I need to get my work done. Well, most of it anyway. I'm just going to go finish some of it while I'm here. And then... I'm going up to Fort my mum, we're going to go to Marks and Spencer's, we're going to get roast beef for dinner, I may get one at Aldi, but she said she went to Aldi and didn't have it, so um, it's just today's outfit. Uh, super dry jumper, super comfy, my wee jeans and Converse. Getting your toy, Coco? Play me your toy? Go get your toy then, You're over there. Look. Who do you like? Who does she like, Mum? She likes the angel. Or Mr. Carrot. Oh. She's a pink angel. She likes <gasps> Oh, Coco's his angel. And she likes Mr. Carrot. And she likes the blue bird. Right, blue bird. Mr. Carrot. Oh, the plastic carrot. Oh. Mine carrot. Mine too. There. And Mia likes that. You like Santa and the hamburger. For fuck's sake. And then we'll get burger. Santa. Santa. Flops is always out. Flops, flops. Flops is out. Flops is always out. So guys, this toy, right? We got this years ago at Christmas. It's got a plaster on it and everything. It's called Flopsy. But this is Mia's toy. No one else is allowed to touch it. Aren't they not? Oh, look at my handsome boy just sitting there. What are you saying? It's just Uncle Paul's empty plate. Have you seen any Uncle Paul yet? Oh. There's nothing on it, darling. It's empty. It's empty. Oh, but are you hungry? You you should eat. Food, did you should eat. Milk. Mm, the other day. Oh, fuck. Don't say that. We bought fucking six kilos of it or something. Salmon. Salmon. I did you know by the one that the man gave you a taste of? I did, I had that already, but we said try something different. Well, it might be, but, just, but then she doesn't eat in the morning. If I put the three down the door, I'm quite sure the three will scoff it. Oh, I know they will, because it'll be a battle with the dog food. But you better get your ass in gear, then. So we're back from the fort, guys. So, I got some stuff at Azara, so I thought I would show you. So, can you see? So I got like this blazer. It's like a blue colour. So I got that. Hi Coco. Then we got this is like a basic white t-shirt. Then I got like a basic black dress. It's like good, just good to have like in the winter, like to go with like boots and under blazers and stuff like that. It's like polo style. Who's that, Jimmy? Hi, bear boy. Hi. Hi. I'm trying to do a wee haul. Mm, I missed you. Mm, I missed you. Guess what you can feed then a roast beef. Mm. Yeah, mom. And then I got this, which is quite a bold one for me. But I thought, how cute, like a big oversized, like, cardigan. Got that. And I got, oh. 
radiate. So, my camera needs to be charged. I'm going to go put my, get my jammies on, even though I'm not staying, but I'm going to get comfy clothes on. And then I'm going to put my camera on charge. And then we can make a Sunday roast together. I know, it's fine. Right, guys, we're making a wee Sunday roast, aren't we, Mum? Yeah, indeed. Gotta set the troops up here, is that alright with you, Alison? Uh, we need to start with the stuff heated up, though. Is something going to go in the micro? Uh huh. Right, we can't eat something there. So, can I just put them in and give them a wee, a wee ding there now? Aye. How long were they dinged? Uh, three minutes each. Um. I'll get that out. Okay, okay. I think we can set this bad boy so people can see us. What is that chopping on you put the thing in? Aye. Aye. So usually we would do like a normal beef, but we're doing a Max Suspensive beef just for quickness because my dad was working. So where's the meat dish Can you get me that best one? Nope. Have you left it out? When you get it? Might manage. There's actually a fourth thing we're throwing in that drawer. Is there? Mm-hmm. That'll be that's a good bit for you. That likes a bit. No, that'll do me. Right. Um Take that out then. Uh-huh. Don't let it rest. That might have done as a gravy, but we'll see. What I do, just set this. I would set that and then let it rest. Just half it. Good. Oh, has it not been set there? That's it, just. Oh, it's been there. sitting there, I'm just um, taking it out of the dish. Well, the chop, well, the I think we're better just um, leaving it to sit in that one, no? No, it's got to rest. It has to come out, can not sit in the heat? Chop board, it, eh? It's in the sink, I think, John. We'll put that in a wee dish, that might right. be quite nice, okay. it, gravy. Is it there? I've been not so tight up there yet. Tight up, sorry. It's alright, my dad's trying to eat. My dad hates flies, don't you? I hate them in a pass. Saying hi to him, Dick? Hi, hi. Hi, I'm YouTube? Oh, did you? Oh, I'm vlogging. I didn't realise that, sorry. We'd not be swearing on a Sunday, Father. Why would we swear on a Sunday? Because there's enough, enough for both of you. Um, right, once it gets to plating up a Sunday roast, I'll show you. Oh well, Dad. Mm. Stunning scenes. Right, I'm going to play it up, guys, and I'll show you my finished result. Oh, nice. oh mommy, daddy. Oofed. It's a bang bang. I'll put that up there. And then all this is, of course, Here we go. No, Coco done. See if he's going to start, I'm going to put them in the No, hole. Papa done. I'm not doing that, I'm eating dinner. Buff trips, look at that. How could I forget the beloved mash? It was near, it was near my plate, but now it is. How's your wee dinner, Alison? Beautiful, thank you. Do you want to tell us what's on your dinner? I've got ham. And mm -hmm. I've got salad, and I've got a wee roast, a uh, wee jacket potato, and I've got sauteed mushrooms. My dad practically got the same as me, that and a cauliflower cheese, as you do it. And the brother's just got two Yorkshire puds with gravy. He's a bit of. And the dog said salmon. Dog said salmon, full, full spring of night trips. Oh, the roast beef. He said it was beef. Well, it was, it was beef. Watch if you don't start scrapping. <laughs> you only want to start scrapping, there's nothing left. Don't put it in the side, please. Hang on, I said, Dunkle. Cool. 
Hvor har den til mig? Ja, rød. <laughs> Og det er 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 Oh, fuck sake. Um, I wait till I come mom and dad's house. I'll lie my brother's bed because he's got a comfy bed in the world. Oh, Papa John. All right, son. Oh, uh, you getting more roast beef? Oh, good boy. Is that, who's, who's that you Nobody. Okay. Hey. I'm just gonna stand on that wheel. <laughs> Here she comes. Here comes she comes. <laughs> I heard you hate your papa's roast beef. Don't worry, Paul Blythe can all be in it. I remember I seen a comment once and it was like she's made up. She's she's not even got a brother, she made it up. <laughs> can you imagine, Paul? I know. I'm believing that. I do you actually have a brother, guys. He is real. Yeah. If she can hear that big deep voice. <laughs> um, I'm abs stuffed. I did this to Lee all the time and go like that to miss as well. I look like I'm pregnant. Me cutie. Oh, it's not bad, isn't it? Um, I'm absolutely stuffed. I'm going to wait a wee hour. It's only half six. I'm going to wait a wee hour, then I'll go home. I'm up early tomorrow, I've got a bit of day tomorrow, so... I've got the dog groomers, I've got the gym, and then I've got shitloads of parcels I need to take back. I need to hang up clothes, I need to tidy the house. Such adult duties tomorrow. And then, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this vlog tonight, but I'll end it once I'm home. I'm going to do my skincare and that tonight. Put some moisturiser on. Um, and then I'll start a new vlog tomorrow because tomorrow I'll vlog a wee bit tomorrow and then I've got an event on Tuesday, nothing on Wednesday, an event on Thursday, and nothing on Friday. So, and then I'm out for dinner with my friends on Saturday. So, might vlog that, might not, but we'll wait and see. Um, I don't know if I've got any parcels to open. If I do, we can do like a wee unboxing as well. Um, so yeah, fun, fun, fun times ahead. Um, and then Lee's home, not next, not the week coming, but the following week. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I booked um, Dubai for New Year, of course, all in hope that, like, it's told, obviously, it's fine to travel, so... Just need to wait and see about that. Obviously, fully vaxxed, so that's good. Lee, I think he, I don't know what, he, I don't think he is. In fact, we were actually talking about the other day, he's not in his lettering, which is quite weird because Lee's older than me. Um, But I don't know if he was, oh, I think it was something to do with his work. I'm not even too fully sure, actually. Um, But I'm good to go. And I said to Lee, if you can go, pal, I'm going with it, yeah. But I can't believe how expensive it is. I'm doing it for Lee's birthday. Because I thought, well, the fuck will I get him? But I think I spoke a bit soon. I had a budget in my head and I thought, oh, it'll be a that. It's double that. And I told him. So I can't actually go back to him. Hi, mate. Actually, you're not actually worth what it's, the cost is. So if you could give me some money. So I'm going to just need to pay it. But I did say it. And my sister says I've went a lot more than we would do, ever do for birthdays. I was it so just, you know, get a saving for my birthday in February. <laughs> not. Um, but we're not doing Christmas and that this year. Fuck that, guys. Like, fucking I'm 26, Lee's 32. We really will be 32, so it's not as if we pure need it. And so, because obviously we'll be going to Dubai after Christmas. So I was like, let's just get each other like, maybe like a wee £200 gift or something. So get me like jammies. I would, I would much rather that. Like, 
I feel like because my job, I buy clothes all the time. I kind of don't treat getting clothes as like a gift, if you know what I mean. Um, sorry, I look pure like stuffy. It's because I've got this big brown. Um, so I was like, I just want the jammies, socks, maybe perfume or something like that, and a lip gloss. So he was like, fine. So yeah. I'm going to go chill and then I'll check back in when I'm home and I can show you some skincare that I've been using and I'm going to put moisturiser on tonight and I'm going to get in my bed for a cup of tea. Oh my god guys, please know the absolute dick of me. Watching the Who Cares Wins Award. Caroline's Flax mum is Coco dying, it's Bernie. No. Caroline Flax mum was presenting an award for um, mental health and oh my god that poor woman you just oh I can't even imagine I'm going to end up greeting so I don't even worry. but like just honestly guys please if you ever have a bad day ever feel like it's all getting too much or you need a cry or you want to scream or you want to you just want to talk to someone that maybe like isn't a friend isn't a family member who can all just maybe chat to you and take your mind off maybe whatever you're thinking about then please guys message me like i know exactly how it feels to kind of sometimes feel like the world's on your shoulders or things aren't going to get better or you just feel so overwhelmed um, and it's really really hard I know that so just when I watched Caroline's flight man it's so important to say like I know it's not easy just to say oh I'll just go talk to someone about all my problems or some people aren't as like confident in opening up to strangers or to anybody for that matter but never suffer guys like literally never suffer and that goes to any of you guys that ever watch my videos like there's nothing to be embarrassed about by mailing me and saying oh, are we having a bad day or can I chat or can I get your opinion or I mean you really don't want my opinion but you know what I mean guys like if you just need a wee rant or whatever you just need somebody who's not in your usual group then please message me because I am all ears and if you ever just need a wee breather or out the house and you live in Glasgow then hit me up because no one should suffer absolutely nobody nobody deserves it so yeah I just thought I'd say that because I think it's so important now sometimes I don't think it's said enough oh this is a poor boy that dies Jimmy and a friend were walking home from work over London Bridge so I'm basically just doing my skincare. I'm going to pause this because I, I remember that poor boy. But basically I left it all in my mum's house. Absolutely raging. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go out. I'm still using... I go between this and... Although I'm going to be honest, the Kylie skin... I do like it. Don't love it though. Like it's nothing to like... There's a full bottle in here. I don't understand what's the hold up. When it comes to this um like okay it's not coming out um i do like it but like i don't love it and the bottles i'm not going to last but i've had two bottles now and the pump both pumps are broke um i do prefer the fenty skin the rihanna stuff amazing because like my eye cream my eye cream and my other serums are all in mum's house. I'm still using that oil, the Juno um Sunday Riley one. If you don't have castor oil guys for your brows or whatever that that's still quite good. Cause that will keep them kinda hydrated, but I do prefer castor oil. Again, that's at my mum's but I was usually put that on my brows. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with my Fenty Skin Moisturiser. I'm actually going to look into whether they've got a nighttime one or it's a little bit heavier. 
I would like that. Um, but I just had a wee bowl of cereal. I was quite a wee bit peckish. I don't know how I was peckish after that dinner, but I was. Um, but I've got a wee cup of tea now. I'm going to just chill in bed, watch a telly, finish watching this. It's on Channel 4. If anyone wants to maybe watch it on Catch Up. And then I'm going to watch um, Virgil. Is it Virgil or Virgil? Virgil. It's Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. Um, I'm chat. I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to take all my tan off. I actually do. I think I've got bought a tan remover, so hopefully get all that off because it's been pure barking like now when it goes pure minging. My boobs are so itchy. I'm trying my hardest not to itch them, but. Mum's like that when I used to. I when I was younger, I used to have really bad eczema, and I used to scratch in the middle of the night. And I used to have to wear mittens going to bed. There's nothing I would love more than now than it. Itch it. We're not going to itch it, aren't we? Not bubs. Um. So yeah, this has just been a wee short video. I say that's probably about ten million hours long. Um, it's just a wee spend the day, me. So it's because basically some of my content moved the dates about very last minute, so it kind of threw me off, and that was why there wasn't an upload on Sunday, which I'm annoyed about because I've been so good. But. Just sorted from my wee day, we happy Sunday, and then tomorrow I'm filming like the vlog, so that'll be really exciting. And then I'm maybe going to do another haul. Um, so again, comment below if you guys want another haul. But yeah, that's that's it. So I'm going to go, and I will. I feel like I'm not going because I'm filming tomorrow, but I am going. Um, and we'll catch up very soon. But like I said, guys, I'm always here. If you need me, if it's boyfriend chat, girlfriend chat, best friend chat, work chat, just daily chat, struggling, just feel like it's all got getting too much, please do not feel embarrassed because trust me guys, I've been open before on here, we all have our struggles and trust me, I am, I have a, quite a few so, and I'm a very emotional person, I take everything personally so I don't cope with things very well. So I totally understand that whole overwhelming feeling that you get. So please, please, please never suffer alone. Um, I'm literally always here if you need me. And you're always more than welcome to come out of my house and get hugs off my dogs because, to be honest, that kind of makes everything a whole lot better. To be fair, bear might be the better one for hugging. Coco, she invades your private space, so. But yeah. Kettle's always on. Pop round. Um, but yeah, as my dad was saying tonight, God bless. And I love you lots. And I'll see you for the next video.